Hello everybody, Conti here with another video. How to three-dimensionalize a PNG image file in DaVinci Resolve. Inside your edits window, hold Ctrl and press I to insert a PNG image file into your project. Use Command instead of Ctrl if you are a Mac user. In this particular example, I'm going to insert a PNG file of the channel logo with a dark blue circular outline and a transparent surrounding. Inside your Media Pool Master Bin, find the thumbnail of your chosen PNG image file. Click and drag this to the start of your edit timeline. If I drag my red playhead to the end of this particular edit, we can see that by default this particular image will play for 5 seconds on our final video. With the Selection Mode tool selected, which you can also do by pressing A, click and hold at the end of the image edit and drag your mouse cursor to resize if necessary. Right click on your image edit and go to open in Fusion page. Inside your nodes panel, disconnect media in one and media out one by clicking on the yellow line in the section closest to media out one. Ensure that media in one is selected. Hold in shift and press space to open the select tool window. Search for Image Plane 3D, select this option from the menu, and go to click on Add. Media In 1 should be connected to this new Image Plane 3D 1 node via the green foreground arrow. With the Image Plane 3D 1 node selected, hold in Shift and press Space, and go to insert a Duplicate 3D tool. With the new Duplicate 3D tool selected, Hold Shift and press Space again. Go to select Transform 3D. With the Transform 3D node selected, hold Shift and press Space once more. Go to insert the Renderer 3D node. Connect the Renderer 3D node to your Media Out 1 node by selecting the grey box to the right of Renderer 3D and dragging your mouse cursor to the yellow arrow to the left of Media Out 1 to make a connection. A preview of the video should appear underneath Media Out 1 at the top of your screen. If this doesn't appear, select the Media Out 1 node and drag this to the preview window towards the top of your Fusion window, letting go of your mouse button once you are in the section above the frame timeline. Select Transform 3D, go to Inspector, underneath Controls, under Rotation, Change the Y value to 90. Your image should now no longer be visible on screen. This particular angle for Y will help us determine the depth of the three-dimensional effect once further settings are applied. Select Duplicate 3D1, underneath Inspector, and Controls. For this particular image, under Copies, I'm going to set Last to 40. This will determine how many duplicate copies of your image will appear. Now to spread these image duplicates further away from one another to create the three-dimensional effect. Under Translation, make a slight increase to Z offset. In this particular example here, I will increase this value to 0 0.0005. The side of your three-dimensional PNG should now be visible on screen inside the Fusion Preview window. The values that you set for copies last and for the Z offset underneath translation may vary depending on the PNG image file that you use in your project. Select Transform 3D1. Reset the rotation value of Y to 0 by clicking on the small circle underneath the Y section. Ensure that you are at the start of your image at frame 0. The frame reference number can be changed using the box underneath the frame timeline. Back inside Inspector again for Transform 3D. Select the keyframe icon next to Rotation Y so that we can start applying a horizontal rotation effect. Go to the final frame inside your image file which in this case here, as we can determine from the second box to the left underneath the frame timeline, is frame 119. 
return to inspector and under rotation for Y, set the value to 360. The keyframe diamond icon should automatically be highlighted in red, signifying a change to this particular variable over the course of your video. Return to your edit window. Should the image size be smaller than you wish, you can select the edits for this on your timeline and go to Inspector and alter the zoom settings underneath Transform. The horizontal positioning of your image can also be adjusted with position X, whilst the vertical positioning can be adjusted by modifying the value in position Y. Further details of these tools can be found in a previous Transform tutorial on this channel. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.